The headquarters of the Enugu State Broadcasting Service has been gutted by fire. Hi, welcome to What's Happening. These are the top 10 stories now. At number 10, the Shippers Association of Lagos State has decried the unavailability of empty containers to transport cargoes trapped in China into Nigeria. In an interview in Lagos on Monday, the president of SAO, Jonathan Nico, said Nigeria has over 10,000 idle containers that were of no use since they cannot be transported to China and Europe to bring in cargoes. The organization said shippers pay too many bills, adding that what they used to spend like 10,000 naira on before has now gone to about 200,000 naira. At number 9, the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, Sadia Umar Farouk, has asked shop owners and traders to be cautious, especially during the Hamatan season. Farouk gave the warning while expressing sympathy over Sunday's fire incident at the next Cash and Carry supermarket in Abuja, during which goods and property worth billions of naira were lost. Speaking through her special assistant on media, Nneka Anibeze, on Monday in Abuja, the minister described the incident as a sad occurrence happening on a day of celebration. She said it is most unfortunate for those who lost their goods and livelihood at this critical time. This is the Hamatan season and prone to a lot of sparks and fire disasters. We urge shop owners, traders and market dwellers to be more vigilant and to endeavor to switch off all appliances before leaving their shops and markets. At number 8, the Ghana Police Service has warned religious leaders to desist from New Year prophecies of harm, danger and death and others that could create tension and panic in the West African country in the year 2022. In a statement signed by the Director of Public Affairs, Alexander Obeng, the Ghana Police said persons found guilty of causing tension in the Ghanaian society through injurious prophecies could be liable to a term of imprisonment of up to five years. At number 7, 92 people have died from Lassa fever infection across the country in 2021. The figure is contained in the latest situation report released by the Nigeria Center for Disease Control. The report said as of week 50, a total of 454 people have been infected by the disease across 66 local government areas in 16 states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory. It also noted that three states accounted for 83% of the confirmed cases. At number 6, Nigeria has recorded 859 new cases of COVID-19 and two additional deaths across 13 states and the Federal Capital Territory. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control disclosed the new figures on its official Facebook page this morning. The health agency noted that the new cases have increased Nigeria's infection toll to 238,420, while the fatality toll now stands at 3,024. The latest data shows that Lagos State, the epicenter of the disease, reported more than half of the new infections, with 555 cases. At number 5, a fire broke out around mile 50 layout in Abakiliki, Ebony State, yesterday, destroyed properties worth millions of naira. A residential building and more than seven shops were gutted by the fire. The Federal Fire Service in Ebony confirmed the incident, saying it occurred at Ali Ubala Eze Street, located around Eze and Bros Junction. The assistant superintendent at the fire service, Yakubu Zekeri, disclosed that no life was lost and no one was injured in the incident. At number four, the Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission says it is set to close out the 2020 Marginal Field Bid Round Program in line with the Petroleum Industry Act 2021. In a statement on Tuesday, NUPRC Chief Executive Officer Wenga Komolafe disclosed that the Commission was ready to end the bid round exercise. In a notice to participants, NUPRC indicated that an in-house work team had already been constituted to deal with outstanding issues. Komolafe said the issues include distilling and addressing the concerns of awardees to close out issues affecting multiple awardees per asset. At number three, thugs invaded the venue of the People's Democratic Party Congress in Zamfara State and disrupted the proceedings. It was gathered that the fierce-looking thugs damaged canopies and plastic chairs, causing party members to run. The Congress, which started peacefully at the Samaru area of Gusau, ended up in commotion as the thugs chased party stalwarts and vehicles were vandalized. An eyewitness said the PDP members had to relocate to an army hotel in the state capital to hastily conduct the Congress. 
At number two, police operatives in Jigawa State raided black spots and hideouts for criminals in Benin Kudu and Guaram local government areas of the state and arrested seven suspects. The police public relations officer in the state, ASP Lawan Shisu, confirmed the arrest in Dutse on Tuesday. Shisu said three of the suspects, aged between 20 and 28, were arrested in Balbadu village, Benin Kudu local government area, when the police patrol team raided black spots and hideouts for criminals in the area. He further revealed that 85 wraps of dried leaves, suspected to be Indian hemp, 136 assorted tablets of illicit drugs, 24 pieces of rubber solution, popularly known as Solisho, and one knife were recovered during the raids. Finally, at number one, the headquarters of the Enugu State Broadcasting Service has been gutted by fire. The fire reportedly started at about 5.30 a.m. this morning, shortly after the station opened. The cause of the fire was yet to be ascertained as of the time this report was filed. Always remember to wear your mask, wash your hands, and stay safe. That's all for today. See you next time on What's Happening.